Tafari Makonnen, the man we have come to know as Emperor Haile Selassie, was born on July 23, 1892. His mother was the daughter of a nobleman from Wello. His father, Makonnen Walde Mikael, a cousin of Emperor Menelik II. When the emperor conquered Harar in 1887, he appointed Makonnen Walde Mikael as governor. Tafari Makonnen was educated by a French missionary. For three years, he also attended a traditional Orthodox school where he learned the ceremonial language Ge'ez. The emperor appointed Tafari governor of a region close to Harar at age 13. When Tafari's father died in 1906, Emperor Menelik summoned Tafari to the court in Addis Ababa, where he served as a page for two years. In 1911, Tafari married Menen Asfaw. They remained married until the Empress' death in 1962. Following the death of Emperor Menelik II, his cousin Iyasu reigned as emperor until he was deposed in 1916. Menelik's daughter Zauditu was then proclaimed empress, and Tafari was elevated to the rank of Ras, or duke, and declared heir to the throne. After Empress Zauditu's coronation in 1917, Ras Tafari became the real power behind the throne. He became active in Ethiopian foreign affairs. With the support of Britain and France, Ethiopia became a member of the League of Nations in 1923. In 1924, he undertook a trip to Western Europe to match a claim. Rastafari was declared heir to the throne and regent plenipotentiary by Empress Zauditu on October 6, 1928. Upon her death in 1930, Rastafari was proclaimed emperor, taking the name Haile Selassie, power of the Trinity. Soon, however, the dark clouds of war appeared over the horizon. Italy's fascist ruler, Benito Mussolini, was keen on avenging Italy's defeat at Adwa. Looking for any excuse to declare war, he found it in a skirmish between Italian and Ethiopian soldiers in 1934. Italy invaded in 1935. In 1936, the emperor traveled to Geneva, where his eloquent speech in defense of his country before the League of Nations was to no avail. When Italy declared war on Britain and France on June 10, 1940, the British took steps to attack Mussolini where he was weakest, Ethiopia. On May 5, 1941, Emperor Haile Selassie returned to Addis Ababa. In 1945, Emperor Haile Selassie met in Egypt with President Roosevelt, who was returning home from the Yalta Conference. In the post-war years, the emperor undertook many trips abroad, including to the Soviet Union, Europe, and the Americas. He visited with President Kennedy in 1963 and was among the first foreign dignitaries to react to the president's assassination. Emperor Haile Selassie was removed from office in 1974 and died in 1975. With his departure, the long reign of the Solomonic dynasty came to an end. <laughs>